Everyone checking in on the market. So we pulled back today consolidation in the market and a lot of bull flags or potential bull flags on the daily time frame. So the hourly uptrend was lost. The line in the sand on SPY, which was our double low, broke. And I entered a hedge position when that level broke. So currently just very barely in the red, pretty much break even with where we closed and going to establish that as my hedge position. And if we see a bull break in continuation over 279 on the daily, I will exit with a stop loss, eat that small loss, and then patiently wait again. Because one time in the near future, when this pullback is for real, that will outweigh these tiny little attempts, which so far just pretty much almost a break even on my last attempt and giving it another go here. So 279 is my stop. Resistance is 280.40 after that on the weekly time frame and support. Bears are going to have to break 276.35 to get any kind of follow through. And the last daily higher low is 272.87. So the bulls are still comfortable if they could pull back another day or two, as long as they hold 278 or 272.87, they're going to maintain the daily uptrend and keep that control on the long-term move. Consolidation on IWM as well, finally after eight green days in a row, and also still a bull flag potential here. And it's going to take a lot for these bears to prove themselves. This right now is just the bulls taking a breather as they have done multiple times on the way up and no indication at this point that it's anything other than that. Looking at QQQ, it's the closest to losing the uptrend, but it's still holding. That's down at 169.83. And if that level gets lost, then the odds that we lose the daily uptrend and the other names will increase. But this pretty much has to be step number one for the bears to gain any traction. XLM. Support is 25.73 on the daily time frame, and anything above that will maintain a higher low, and bulls have plenty of space on XLF. Vic saw a green day today, but anything under 17.27 is just a lower high, not a very big, big bull move in any way, as we didn't even break the high of the previous day. So an attempt to shift momentum, and at this point, we can use these 12 and 26 period exponential moving averages as our guide with all the times we've rejected in the last month, one, two, three, four and just still resistant. So if we close over those levels, it'll be worth paying attention to. And if we don't, then it won't. Oil on the daily, some healthy consolidation. The inventory report came out today and hardly haven't have even started pulling back here. 55.27 is support and resistance is up at 57.56. And then space on the weekly time frame into the $59 range from there. And natural gas, still trying to make their move. 2782 is the resistance to be watching. Again, if we can't break that level, it's just a lower high. I would like to see a pullback. We haven't started pulling back since we did bounce from 2571. And I would like to lose the higher low each day pattern and see that pullback to form the daily higher low before the bull break takes place because that will give us a better chance for an entry and a better follow through, in my opinion. So pretty much bottom line is little has changed. Brief consolidation today. Uh, I made that entry because of that consolidation, but again, it's a hedge position. I would not be, you know, this aggressively trying to time the top if it were not a hedge position for my parents' long-term diversified portfolio. Other than that, the bulls are going to keep that daily uptrend until we lose it, and that will look for a clear shift in the weekly time frame. That's what we're waiting for. That's what I'm waiting for to be more comfortable in this market and... We will see you all tomorrow. Have a good rest of your Thursday. One more day in the week. Lucid dreaming. I had a big old lucid dream yesterday. First time in a long time. Put out a video intro to lucid dreaming. So check that out on our web or on our YouTube. I put that out a while ago. It's something that I have developed or been developing as I was road tripping around. And uh, it's a skill that you can learn. And there's exercises to make you better at it. And I haven't been doing it much recently because it was ever since starting the chart, guys, I mean, my head is so focused on numbers and charts and managing the company and the chat room and all that. It's really takes up my mental capacity. And it's a it's a lifestyle that you need to live because there's exercises that you do thought processes throughout the day that help you become lucid. But the ability to realize your dreaming and enter a world where physics don't exist and you can literally be the creator and there's limitless potential of the exploration both inner and outer that you can experience in lucid dreaming and just last night so i was sitting outside in my dream with a woman at an outdoor restaurant and i realized i was lucid and i don't know who this woman was but i tried to you know make her conscious as well i was saying you know look at your hands we're in a dream right now this is a dream and she wasn't getting it 
So I stood up and just started smashing everything and yelling to everybody that we were in a dream and then went off on adventures for a, a bit further. But I've had experiences where I, you know, I have died in a dream where I was lucid and I feel like that prepared me for death in real life. I feel like I know what it's like to die and feel the blood leave my body. So it's deep. There's great books out there. Check out the intro video. And uh, I have, you know, I, the, when I put out that intro video, people did respond to me and say, hey, I had my first lucid dream last night. And literally just talking about it increases the odds that you're going to do it. And that's happened multiple times. I was in a hot spring in Colorado and talking about it there because I was in the middle of my practice. And this woman the next morning said, wow, I had a lucid dream after our conversation. So spark the interest and explore your inner realms. Have a great day. Do good things. 30 minutes long. It's a doozy.